Hey girls! So today I'm going to be filming my shoe collection video. Now I pulled almost all my shoes in it. Pull like my chucks out or a lot of my more casual flats, my normal ones. But other than that I pretty much pulled all of them. And so I'm just going to get started and kind of go through them, give you guys an overview of them and kind of tell you how I get such great deals on shoes. Alright? See you in a minute. Okay, so here is an overview of all my shoes that I pulled out and I didn't realize I had quite this many shoes <laughs> until I pulled them out. So I'm just going to kind of start over here and go through them because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get towards the boots. And I did kind of break them up into categories a little bit, but not too much since most of them are heels. So first of all, I have these just plain black flats. I love these flats because they're plain so they go with everything but they're cut really low on the sides which makes them a little bit different. And a lot of my flats I've had a really long time. I buy these really thin insoles for them. They're super thin and that way I can keep them for a really long time until they get really scuffed up or I walk heavy on the back and the backs get messed up. But those are those. I probably wear those the most out of my flats. And then I have these really, really cute pink leopard print ones. Um, I actually got these for $2 at DSW in the clearance section. And I've had them for probably about four or five years now. So I've gotten a lot of use out of them. And they're not worn that much on the bottom. So they're really good quality and I really like them a lot. I also have these, which these are just fun flats if you're wearing more of a new wavy kind of outfit, but don't want to make it too fussy. These are fun to go with those. And I got these at Hot Topic. And then I have these ones, which I also got at Hot Topic, and they have little dinosaurs on them. And I wear these with some of my, like, cute little animal tops. And they have a cute little strap around the edge. And I got these for 2 or $3 at Hot Topic, too, when they had their clearance an additional 50% off so watch for shoes for them um, when they have that sale because I get a lot of my shoes from their 50% clearance sale. These ones I got from H&M in Vegas and they're just the perfect summer shoe if you don't really like sandals that much because I'm not a big sandal person so these are very sandal like but still fit like flats do. And then I have these. I got these at Ross, I believe. And these are great for when I used to DJ at bars because they're sparkly, they're shiny, they're super cool, but they're not overly fussy like heels or boots or wedges are. So they were great for that and they're super, super comfortable. They kind of remind me of a mix between like dance shoes and bowling shoes. So I really like them and these are all sequins. So, they're super fun. And then these are another recent addition. Let me scoot over. Um, and these are very kind of like new wave creeper sort of things. More like dark wave sort of creepers. And I really love these shoes. They're so awesome. They're really comfortable. And I got these at Forever 21. So, all right. Now, let's start over here. These are from Wet Seal. Wet Seal has really great, fun shoes. Um, if you're not looking for, like, the best of quality, but you want something kind of fun and cheap to go with an outfit or just to wear the club where you know they're probably going to get ruined because people spill stuff and things on them. So, I've got these. And they're just fun and cute. And then I've got these Silver Steve Maddens, which I'm kind of disappointed. They got really, really scuffed up, like, really quickly. And I don't exactly remember where I got these from. I probably got them from, like, a local thrift store, like Plato's Closet or something. Because I like to get my Steve Maddens there because they're not used a lot. They All their shoes are in very good condition. But they have high-end brands for, like, $10, $15.00. So I like that. And then I have these old Target shoes. And these are just more like businessy shoes that I wear for meetings and stuff like that. You can tell they have a ton of dust on them. 
This is another pair of Steve Madden. I got these at Plato's Closet. I think they were like six dollars. And these are perfect to go with pretty much any outfit. You can do these with skinny jeans and like a rocker top, or you can do them with like more of a classic kind of pinup dress or anything like that. They go with everything. I love them. And then these are another Target shoe, and I actually got these for my brother's wedding. It was an Elvis and Priscilla wedding. So I got these, and we did kind of like a pinup sort of theme. And I thought these were really fun, but I could walk in them all day in Vegas because they were a really small heel. All right, scooting down. <laughs> all right, um, these are my only other, like, main pair of open-toed shoes. And these... I don't wear all that often because they are a little bit nicer, but I kind of wear these when I have like a nice dinner or, or something to go to, or occasionally if I want to look just a little bit nicer when I go out to the club. And these I believe I got at Ross as well. These are my dancing shoes. They're my little sparkly princess shoes, and I absolutely love these. These with like a long tutu dress and just a tank top are awesome and they've got little comfort pads in them the arches are padded the heels fairly short so seriously you can stand in these for like 13 hours and your feet don't even bother you so I love these these are my 70s shoes which they look hideous I wear these with my really wide bell bottoms so only like this front part sticks out of them and they just look perfect for my 70s outfits like my more casual like my Charlie's Angels type outfits and then these are my sparkly tennis shoes my high tops I absolutely love these because they are so comfortable but they just glam up an outfit so you can be very casual and very glam at the same time and I absolutely adore them so now I'm going to have to stop for a minute and move all these shoes and then we'll get to the next row. Okay, so let's continue now. So I have these ones and these I call my Bowie wedges. I don't know, for some reason they totally remind me of David Bowie. And these are incredible quality shoes. I absolutely love these shoes. And I actually got them on sale 70% off at DSW. Um, I kind of watch... DSW sale racks and if there's something I'm interested in normally I'll start off about 30% off and I'll kind of wait and watch every week and see if they end up going down in price and then when there's only like two pairs left I normally will wait a couple of days and see if they're gonna go down more or if they're gonna sell out and then I'll snatch them up so I don't buy them right away when they're on sale and that's how I get incredible deals on some of these um, that these shoes were originally like $150, so they were amazing. And then I have these, which I tweeted a picture of these not too long ago. I ended up getting these Steve Men's at Ross for $17, brand new. They're absolutely amazing, gorgeous shoes, and they are really comfortable. So I have to add a little pad in them so my foot doesn't slip forward. But other than that, they're just amazing, and I love these shoes. These I actually got at Wet Seal for a penny. They had their clearance, buy one, get one for a penny. And I wasn't too sure about them, because standing there, they look kind of interesting, but they don't look too cute. But for a penny, I couldn't pass them up. And they look phenomenal with a pair of light gray skinny jeans and just like a flowy tank top. These shoes look amazing. They're like total summer rocker chic shoes. I love them. And then I got these half off at Wet Seal as well. And these are the little pads I put in my open toes so my feet don't slide forward. And these are just like pinup cork open toe wedges. And they're actually pretty comfortable. I really like them, especially for how high they are. They're pretty tall. And then these I got in Vegas at Forever 21 and they're just I don't wear them that often because they only go with kind of rolled up jeans but they're still cute and I don't think they were that much um, so we got those and then I also have these which these are my 
picnic shoes. I pretty much only wear these when I go on picnics. And I have a little picnic outfit I wear. So they're just um, like braided, like twiny kind of beachy material and polka dots. And I have a little, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like a pin-up picnic outfit that I wear these with. I absolutely love them. And I love the open back on here and then these lace up like all the way up your calf so they're really cute and really sexy but like really casual and then I have the ones I'm wearing today and these are just kind of like velour velvet black wedges that I got from forever 21 I think they were like $35 and these are the only shoes that I've bought in from forever 21 that are a little bit taller that are really really comfortable I really like these shoes and they just kind of have like a semi-rounded pointed toe. So I really like these. Up next is another pair of Stephen Maddens that I got from Plato's Closet. And they're kind of like, I don't know how to explain them. They're really cool. They've got a treaded bottom and then they've got screws and zippers and all these different colors and fishnet and they're just, they're super, super fun, funky shoes, and I could not pass these up, like, I will never find another pair of shoes like that for that price, so I thought they were awesome, and they are just, I think, the coolest pair of shoes that I own. They're so unique. And then I have these, which, I think I got these for like $9 a wet seal, too, and they're just basic purple, shiny platform pumps. Nothing too exciting. Uh, Charlotte Rousseau is another great place for fun, funky shoes. They're not as cheap as Wet Seal. They're probably more in the price range of like Forever 21. Their shoes are a lot more comfortable and a lot better made than Forever 21 shoes are. And so I have these like platform blue with a shiny black heel and these go with so many outfits. They go with like rocker chick outfits, they go with new wave outfits, they go with disco outfits, they go with pretty much like all my themed club outfits. So I end up getting a lot of use out of these. And they're not too uncomfortable for how thin the heel is and how high the platform is. They're not that bad. Next, these are the shoes that I just wore to Erasure and these I got at Wet Seal, and they are these like multicolored sequin shoes. Um, they do have a rounded toe, which I normally don't buy too many shoes that have a rounded toe. I just don't care for them. And they have a brown heel, which I don't care for either. But it kind of goes with the gold satin trim, so I kind of deal with it. But those are those, and these are just, they're super fun shoes. Next, I believe I got these at Ross as well, I'm not too sure, but they're just some like shorter black pumps with these straps across. I get a lot of use out of these because they're not too tall, they have a little bit wider of a heel, so they're good club shoes if you just want to like go out and dance and have fun, but you still want to wear heels. So I wear those quite often. They're a little bit more rockerish, so you do have to kind of watch what you wear them with. Then I have these. I think these were another Ross find. They have a metal heel. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but the heel is kind of like a blue steel color. And then it's got this purplish pink um, kind of platinum-y color, I guess you would call it, or gunmetal-y type color um, on the actual fabric. And the fabric's like really soft and really nice. So I have no idea what brand these are, but they're super fun. Alrighty, these are all shoes that stay in their boxes. They're my nicer shoes or my glittery shoes or um, normally if shoes come in a box, I save the box. Um, I don't buy that many shoes that come in boxes. Normally I buy my shoes at like Ross or um, places like that so they don't come with a box. These are Miss Me. I got these off of the $15 store. It's an awesome website. You should totally check it out. Um, they have tons of rocket dog shoes for $15 and they're brand new and they have a really chunky heel and then a big platform and kind of a wider toe but it's not rounded that much and a gold cap and these are like the perfect disco platforms like I love these shoes I wear them so often 
Next, I have a pair of Michael shoes. I got these at Off Broadway. Um, I think it's called Shoe Warehouse or something. I don't buy a lot of shoes from them because I feel in comparison to DSW, they're way overpriced. But these were an exception. These are completely covered in glitter and they are just a standard platform pump with a little bit of a pointed toe, not too much. And I love these shoes. I have another pair of glitter shoes and I don't get to wear either of these too often because it rains and snows a lot in Colorado, so I don't want to ruin them. But I love how even the heel is covered in glitter. They're just awesome. I love these. Next, I have these shoes from Nine West. Um, I highly doubt I bought them from Nine West. I probably bought them from DSW. Uh, probably. And they're just like, an, uh, they're not quite navy, but a dark blue sort of Mary Jane. These can go casual, or they can go very professional, or they can go very dressy. I think everyone should own a pair of shoes like this in their closet because they are so multi-personal. Um, if you have a dinner, you have to go to they're great for that if you have a banquet you're going to or an opera or a play or something they're great for that if you have a business meeting they're great for that or if you just want to look nicer one day they're great for that so I absolutely love them they're super super comfortable so they're great here is another pair of my fun little 80s shoe these are like a mix between the 80s rocker chick and new wave shoe um, the heel it doesn't feel that tall because of how far out the base comes. So it is a pretty decently tall heel, but it doesn't feel like it because of the way it's designed. So these are just super fun. And yeah, they're just cool. And this thing is the sticky thing for the back so that my shoe fits better. It just it comes off all the time. I have to retape it in. These are just a basic pair of white heels that I got for an Alice in Wonderland party and they got destroyed pretty much so I don't really wear them. I'm thinking about trying to dye them or something but I'm not sure if I can. And they are just from Charlotte Rousseau. Alright. These are my fancy girl shoes. I pretty much never wear them. They were really expensive. They're Anne Klein. Um, well for me they were really expensive. They were probably like $60-$70. And I wear these. I have a very nice dress that goes with them. It's like an old 50s cocktail dress. And I wear these with them when I have a special family occasion or if me and Matt are going to a really nice dinner or if I have something that I have to look really nice and polished for, I wear these. And they're just, they're so classy and sophisticated and I just, I love how chic they are. They are so, like, Chanel looking. I love them. This is another pair of shoes that I got at Hot Topic. And they were originally $40. I got them for less than $10. And they are amazing. So definitely watch Hot Topic when their clearance goes 50% off. Snatch up shoes. They have... The purple glitter all the way down the heel all the way around and then they've got like a patent black patent leather trim and then white patent leather like scalloping and then these pretty black bows on there they're just these are probably one of my favorite pair of shoes I just don't get to wear them that often because I don't want to ruin them by getting them wet these are just a basic small heel for if I have something important I have to do for work or something I have to look nice for but I know I'm going to be on my feet a lot, I'll wear these because they look amazing with slacks. They look like tall heels but they're a lot more comfortable. So scooting down again. Alright, so now I have these. These I got at the $15 store as well. Um, these are Rocket Dogs, and they are just great little summer slingbacks. They got the, like, cork wooden heel and just the patent leather. I love the detail of how the um, front kind of scoops down in the same fashion as the toe. And just a little buckle, and they're really cute and fun and summery. And then I've got these, 
which these I got at DSW for I think like $20. And they are silk and they're rocket dogs as well. And they've got this pretty little bow detail. Um, I really like to wear these shoes for Valentine's Day just because they just are so, I don't know, they just are romantic shoes to me for some reason. So they're really nice, but I do not wear these at the club because they would be ruined if somebody spilt something on them. I really try to mainly stick to my shinier fabric shoes, so either patent leather or something kind of like it for the club because people spill things a lot. So I'm going to stop one more time and then we'll go through boots and then we'll be done, all right? Okay, so here is my last row of shoes. And these are all my boots. So I will go through them. Uh, these, I don't remember where I got them at, but I love, they're just the perfect little rocker booties. They got this little sewn in like ridge detail. They're super fun. They're pretty comfortable and they're great for just whenever you want to kind of jazz up a little rocker outfit. So then I have these. These are from Forever 21, I believe. Yes. And I love these shoes. They are amazing. They're this like crinkled silver material. It's got all these little cracks in it. They're absolutely amazing, but these are the most uncomfortable boots I own. So I don't wear them that often unless I really feel that they're going to just make something so awesome that, you know, I have to wear them. These are my Barbie boots. And they're pretty self-explanatory. They are hot pink Barbie boots. <laughs> so, I really like these. They go great with white skinny jeans. Like, amazing with white skinny jeans. These are what I call my Bowie boots. I got these at Buffalo Exchange and they are these like kind of multicolored gold sequins head to toe except for the heel. The heel is just plain black and they're really tall. They go almost to the top of my calf. So I love these boots. I don't wear them often just because I know that I won't be able to replace them. So I kind of save these for more special occasions where I feel that they deserve to be worn. Next are my more casual boots. I don't have that many dressy boots. So I have these just kind of slouchy ones that I got from Wet Seal and I love these shoes. They are so comfortable. Like I can wear these all day and not have a single problem with my feet. They were fairly cheap. I think they were like 20 or $30. And I've had them for like two years now and I wear these a lot during the fall and winter. So these are actually really good quality and if you see them, I suggest picking them up. Wet Seals boots for some reason are much higher quality than their heels are or their flats. So I definitely suggest checking out Wet Seals boots, especially now that it's fall. They have great deals and their boots are amazing quality and really comfortable. Actually, I think all my boots are from Wet Seal. These ones are from Wet Seal as well. And they're just kind of like slouchy moxkin boots. But I like these ones more because they have a more pointed toe. So they don't look as casual and kind of bumish as like the ones with the fat toe can look. They look a little bit more polished. So the only thing I don't like about these is they attract hair and dirt like no tomorrow and they're really hard to clean. But they're really comfortable and if you spray them with a little bit of weatherproofing spray for like tents and stuff, you can find it at the um, in like the fishing and camping sections at Walmart, they will last you for a really, really long time. And I have these tall ones. They're basically kind of the same, except for they have the fat toe, which I'm not as big of a fan of. But these are just really tall, gray, slouchy ones. So I wear those a little bit more casually. And all right, last two pairs. These are my snow boots. So I wear these when I like go sledding or when we're going up to the mountains or something like that. And they're just, they're fun 
pretty much more than anything. Um, they've got a nice big platform so my foot's not in the snow getting all cold. And all these little buckles and like the fur and then it's got the fur on the inside where it laces up too. But I like these better because they have a little zip on the side so you don't have to unlace them and unbuckle them every single time. So it just makes it easier and they're cute. They look cute with jeans tucked into them and like a heavy duty cardigan or something. They're really cute. And then these are my boots that I probably get the most use out of. You can tell because they're really dirty. Um, somehow the toe got messed up, but I don't know. I still love them. And these are from Wet Seal as well. I'm really tall. Um, I am almost five foot eight, and these go up to my knee almost. So they've got these little buckles here and they're just really tall and they don't flare out too much. I have very, very skinny legs, so I have trouble buying taller boots because they end up being ginormous on me. And these are a little bit big, but not too horribly noticeable. And they just have a zipper down the side and they're just flat as well. Alrighty, so that is all of my shoes. If you have any questions about them, or want any more information about the places that I told you that are cheap places to get shoes, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll see you girls next time. Have a great night.